I've got a question here that I thought would be a really great question that many of you have had um, come up, that I've seen come up uh, on the 14 Day Fertility Challenge group as well as on our main page. And the question is, how do I remain hopeful even after the doctors tell me that egg donation is the only way forward for unexplained infertility? Now, as you will know, Unexplained infertility, in my opinion, is a little bit of a lazy way of diagnosing infertility, right? I believe that when it comes to infertility and when it comes to keeping a healthy pregnancy to term, having an understanding of the minor factors that may be getting in the way and starting to drill deeper into what they mean for fertility, it's very much what we do for our patients in our practice, but it's also what I recommend all of the people that do the 14 day fertility challenge start to work with their doctors to uncover. Because the truth is, unexplained infertility should not be explained. There have to be reasons as to why this is not happening. And sure, sometimes it's multiple reasons and it's a combination of a whole lot of little factors and it makes it hard to have a, an exact diagnosis, but you certainly want to make sure that you are looking at the situation from a much more um, in-depth way than just going, oh, this is explained, therefore there's nothing I can do about it, right? And, and that's very much what we aim at changing during the 14-day fertility challenge. But when it comes to, you know, this type of question where a, a patient may have gone to have different opinions and different doctors have said, you know, there's nothing you can do and donor egg is the only thing, I because of my experience, because of the patients that I see, because of the stories that I get to experience and be a part of, I have a problem with that. You know, one of my patients, it comes to mind immediately, I think about this person when I hear this type of question. Um, she had had multiple failed IVF attempts. She had been to three different doctors and all of the doctors had told her, give up, you just need to go and use donor egg. She did our process. She did the Natural Fertility Breakthrough Program utilising our seven-step fertile method. And we went through systematically every aspect of what needed to happen in order to give her the best possible chance of conception, even if it was going to be through IVF at the end of the day. But in putting all of that in place, we were able to identify and label and name things that weren't working and address them on a very fundamental level, you know, on a very biochemical level. And it wasn't a long time until that made enough of a difference that this woman actually was able to conceive naturally after all doctors had ruled out her chances of being able to not only conceive, but, you know, conceive with her own biological child, conceive with her own eggs and literally told her, give up, forget about it and just you know, go and do donor egg. Now don't get me wrong, there are instances and there are times that donor egg is the best way. And we support patients in our practice who also need to go down the donor egg path. But it's a different story, you know, knowing and understanding that that is the truth of what needs to happen for you because you've left no stone unturned along the way and or just rushing in and doing that because it's the thing that was told to you um, to do. You know, so I think that when it comes to this particular situation and this question of, you know, how do I remain hopeful or even when is it time to actually get onto the donor egg path? The time to get onto the donor egg path is really the time where you've exhausted because you have gone through a very systematic and, and, and um, specific process that has a proven track record and you've seen that, okay, you know what? Now is the time where we need to change strategies. That is the time, you know? So you don't just kind of go and change strategies because, well, that's what I was told. I haven't addressed any of those other things. Because also I think of another patient, you know, as I talk about this, um, who went before coming to our process, uh, went and did donor egg, and it failed. It failed multiple times through donor egg. So it clearly it wasn't the only answer, right? And then she went, she did our process. She then again did a donor egg process with the same donor after doing everything that we asked her to do. And she is now literally about to, to give birth. 
right? So again, it's about understanding and addressing the other peripheral factors that are getting in the way of taking home a healthy baby. It's not necessarily that donor egg is or isn't the answer. It's about understanding that until you have left every stone unturned, it's not going to be the answer. How do you remain hopeful throughout that? Well, reminding yourself each single, every single day, each step of the way, as you do the things that you need to do to optimize your chances and to give yourself the best possible chance, that that is what you're doing, right? And that is essentially my way of keeping uh, yourself hopeful. You know, focusing on the things that you can be grateful for is another wonderful way of keeping that hope, keeping that little you know piece of happiness alive because ultimately focusing on the things that you don't have and that you will never have is not going to give you the result that you want it's about understanding what you can be grateful for in your life doing what it takes taking charge and working together as a team that is the best way to give yourself the best possible chance so i hope that helps and until next time bye for now